Here, if you're going to be uh, heading out the door, we got uh, right now the Fox 5 Rover. Uh, they're joining County Commissioner Justin Jones while he turns on a new traffic light. Uh, this is right off Fort Apache and Arby. It's right near the main entrance to Wet n Wild and Fest Middle School and Fest Park. So a lot of foot traffic actually happens out here with adults and kids alike. And it looks like they just officially flicked the switch and the light is now in operation. Now, back on March 12th of last year, 12 year old Johnny Smith was killed after being hit by a car there at that intersection. After his death, there was an outcry from parents and the community to improve safety at the intersection of Arby and Fort Apache. So Clark County commissioners did a traffic study and decided to install a new traffic light. Now, Commissioner Justin Jones, he made a personal promise to Johnny's mom uh, at the vigil to make it an absolute priority, and it looks like he has come through on his promise. So that new traffic light is officially on and working down there in the southwest corner of the valley. So let's take a look here this morning and show you on our traffic graphic the area that we're talking about. So here's Arby, here's Wet n Wild, and here is Fort Apache. Fort Apache, a very busy north and southbound thoroughfare, and that's why they needed to put that traffic light there. There's another traffic light down here at Warren Springs and up here at Mall, but they wanted to add a, a, that third one right there where 12-year-old uh, Johnny was uh, killed there last March.